All right, morning <laughs> buzz time. Another restaurant is closing, but it will reopen with a very festive vibe. Owners say Ottawa Beach Inn near Holland State Park is actually being renovated and it will reopen under a new name. So here's a look at some of those changes, a little bit of a rendering you're going to see here. This spot will reopen in May as Playa Tacos and Tequila. Of course, Playa meaning beach, right? Right. Owners say the restaurant will serve Mexican street food and more than 150 tequilas and mezcals. It will also be open year round. Auto Beach Inn operate along the beach for more than 35 years. That's Everybody loves tacos look and tequila. How beautiful that is. It's be gorgeous. What a, what a cool place and to great eat. Town. Look at that. Playa. Love that, that. that looks sharp. Hey, Michigan's Adventure and Cedar Point. They both could soon be under new ownership because SeaWorld is looking to buy them. The company, Cedar Fair, that owns the two big amusement parks, says they've received an offer from SeaWorld for $3.4 billion. Hey, by the way, not the first time a company's tried to buy out Cedar Fair. Back in 2019, Six Flags Entertainment offered them $4 billion, and they refused that offer. And, well, okay, we'll see how that one pans out, right? Founders Brewing Company has a new CEO. Elton Knight started his new job earlier this week. He's been employed at Founders Parent Company now since 2014. And he's also the CEO at one of their subsidiaries, Avery Brewing Company, and will continue his role there while leading Founders. Knight takes over for Mike Stevens, who co-founded Founders back in the late 90s. So congratulations. Oh, good job, Elton. And uh, well, thanks a lot, Puxatani Phil. We got six more weeks of winter, but you can start drinking like it's summer. Speaking hey, of now. beer, here we go. Bell's announced Oberon Day. It's coming back. The annual release in stores is on March 21st this year. It's almost a holiday for some people. The wheat-based ale, that is their signature brew. I've been known to celebrate a mm -hmm. Oberon on Oberon Day. Hey, a popular celebration beverage for special occasions like this coming Valentine's Day is going to cost you more. A wine and spirits analyst says costs are going up uh, to make sparkling wine, and that means buyers will pay more at the registers. How much more? Well, 11% more was sold in 2021 than 2020, contributing to less supply. So sparkling wine producers are also being hit by supply chain issues for packaging and for glass and recent extreme weather and California fires oh are producing lower grape yield. And what, we had, we had what, orange juice, yeah. prices are going, I mean everything. Yeah. You're gonna pay a little Just bit more. Expect, expect more for your grocery bill. That's right. All right.